Hello, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Ito po si Nurse Kaloy. It's uh, past 10 p.m. over here in Hawaii. Uh, ako po ay isang nurse, hindi po ako doktor. Meron po akong malawak na karanasan for 32 years in California, here in Hawaii and in Saudi Arabia. Uh, gusto po pong i-continue yung aking nabanggit na uh, makakapag-share, makapagbigay ng tips at saka sistema kung paano mag-aral at may pasa ang NCLEX dito sa US. Meron po akong part 1 na video, sana napanood niyo po yun, saka yung part 2, and then I'm doing the part 3. And then this would be the final. Uh, kung may mga comments ko kayo or questions, lagay niyo po sa baba o kaya pwede niyo akong i-message sa aking messenger. Carlos o uh, Charlie Hu uh, ang aking uh, email at ang aking uh, Facebook account. Doon po sa, <coughs> just to do a recap, <coughs> doon po sa ating uh, uh, part 1, uh, na-mention ko po rin yung 8-hour uh, rule which is uh, in reality, uh, real life, meron po tayong 8 hours sleep, 8 hours no work, and 8 hours yung ating spend sa bahay with our family chores sa bahay shopping, activity of daily living i-distribute nyo po yung remaining 8 hours kasi 8, 8, 8 is 24 hours so meron kayong remaining 8 hours just leave 1 hour for your review yun po yung aking emphasis dun sa part 1 sa part 2 po dun ko sinabi yung mga words of wisdom Tulad ho ng, you have to have a goal. You have to be consistent. You have to be religious in doing all these practice tests. Uh, kasi po mayroon tayong sinabi ron na perfection. Although marami nagsasabi there's no such thing as perfection. Nabanggit ko rin doon na based dun sa amin din sa FEU noon, sinabi sa amin, Perfection is achieved by constant practice. Uh, lahat mo ng bagay, practice, 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 and that will bring you an inch to perfection. Not necessarily exactly perf perfect kayo, but closer to perfection. You know, gusto kong i-inculcate in your mind. Practice makes perfect. Kaya ho meron tayong salitang ganun. Uh, and then, uh, nasabi ko rin din sa part 2, yung review is by system. Minention ko ron, as I gave you an example, dun sa system, by system, kaya ko sinabi by system, is to have a continuity. Uh, na, 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 pinakita ko po yung aking uh, technique. Ang system, uh, let's say, sa Practice test one. Okay? Susulat niyo po yan. Gagamit po kayo ng ganito. Yellow pad or white pad. And then lagay niyo po yung cardiac system. And then you will number, dun sa questions, number 1 to 50. Mag-umpisa muna kayo sa day, uh, sa number 50 items sa day 1. And then sa day 2, you do the 51 to 100. Okay? Day 2 po yon. Sa day 3, Dun po kayo, the, sa day 2, somebody had to check all your answers. Sa day 3, pagdating ho uli ng gabi, ng time nyo, you will read and analyze your answers. Dun yung makikita yung mga mistakes nyo. Dun sa mistakes nyo, babasahin nyo ang rationale. Okay? Lahat ng mistakes, ang binigay ko example, let's say, sa number 2, mali kayo, babasahin nyo ko ano yung tamang sagot and yung rationale. Tandaan nyo po yon. Hindi ko sinasabing i-memorize nyo, but tandaan. If I mention memorize, ibig sabihin, tandaan nyo. Ilagay nyo sa isip nyo yung rationale. Analyze nyo. If you need help, you can always message me. Okay, so day 3 po yon. Sa day 4, uh, from 51 to 100, ano, the 101 to 150, day 4 ho yun. Sa day 5, 151 to 
to 200 or 250. Sa day 6, then that's the time you open your book again, you analyze nyo na naman yung mga answers, lahat ng mga mistakes nyo, babasahan nyo, focus on your mistakes. Yun po ang key point doon. Re-reviewin nyo lang yung mga mistakes na sagot nyo. Babasahan nyo yung rationale and take note, remember yung rationale. Okay? The reason why I'm saying focus on your mistakes because yung mga tamang sagot nyo, itama na yun eh. Okay? And there's a reason why I'm doing this because we'll be doing practice test 1, practice test 2, practice test 3 until such time na yung percentage nyo which I mentioned on this part 2 eh tumaas na, nasa 90 above. And that will, I assure you, it will gonna happen. Sundin nyo lang ang aking sistema. I I uh, assure you for that. Okay? So, natapos nyo yung cardiac system. Okay? Ano ho? Na-analyze nyo na. Tulang sabi ko, day 1, day 2, day 3, analyze. Day 4, day 5, question, sagot-sagot. Day 6, analyze nyo naman. Day 7, go to respiratory system. Dun po sa respiratory system, ilagay nyo rin, practice test 1. And then, the same procedure, 1, to 50, 51 to 100. At, nakalimutan ko sabihin, bawat score nyo, i-grade nyo po yan. Number of score versus total questions, divide nyo po yon, makukuha nyo yung percentage nyo. And then, so from 51 to 100, 101 to 200 to 250, ganun din po ang procedure. Kung panoorin niyo po yung aking part 2, doon niyo po makikita, mag-gauge niyo ang inyong improvement by uh, looking or taking note of your percentage. Kaya it's very important. Lahat ng score niyo versus yung total score or total uh, question, kukunin niyo yung percentage. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> so, from respiratory, you can go to another system, let's say, on that part 2, I gave a skeletal system. It's the same procedure. Day 1, 50. Day, day 2, 51 to 100. Ganun, ganun. And so on and so forth. Don't forget to get the score divided by the total uh, questions and get the percentage of each test. Like, dito, dito sa respiratory, this is test 1. Makikita nyo yung percentage so dyan. Okay? Uh... And then from the skeletal system, balik na naman kayo sa cardiac system. And this time, sa cardiac system, lagay niyo na po ron, practice test 2 cardiac system. Okay, take note of this. Dun sa example na binigay ko, mali kayo sa number 2, di ba? Dun sa practice test 1. Ngayon, after skeletal, bumalik kayo sa cardiac system, Ansiran nyo ulit from 1 to 50. Okay? Pag chinek ng kasama nyo sa bahay at nakita na yung number 2 nyo ay mali. Okay? Dun sa practice test 1. Tapos sa practice test 2, mali pa rin. And then, you have to analyze yung choices, yung multiple choice. Dun nyo gagamitin yung elimination process, yung pinaka best guess nyo. Look into those keywords. Yung mga always, not, yung mga ganun, ganun. Tignan nyo yun. Okay? Or if still on the practice test stream, mali pa rin kayo, then call me or message mo kami. I-explain ko sa inyo. Ano po? Ganun di yun. Uh, mali kayo sa number 2, sa practice test 1, sa number, sa practice test 2, mali pa rin kayo. Then you have to choose. You have to do all those uh, techniques. Your elimination process, best guess gagawin nyo. Yung take note of the keywords. Yung mga not always, those are negative, negative lagi yan. Okay, dun sa practice test 3, siyempre, na, 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 nabasa mo na yung 1, yung rationale sa practice test 1. Sa practice test 2, mali ka pa rin sa number 2. For example, na, binasa mo na naman yung 1, yung rationale, dun sa practice test 3, tumama ka na. So, ibig sabihin, nare-retain mo na. Kasi ang, ang sistema natin ito, hindi ka gagawa ka agad ng practice test 1 to practice test 2. Hindi eh. 
from cardiac, respiratory, skeletal, saka ka bumalik ulit. So, it takes you about mga uh, two weeks bago ka bumalik ulit. Doon mo makikita kung nare-retain mo yung nababasa mo. As far as you go along, let's say skeletal and then nasa neuro ka na, babalik ka na naman sa cardiac niyan. Ganun ho ang sistema ng tinuturo sa inyo. Habang paubos ng paubos yung mga system, ang gawin niya katulad niya, cardiac, respiratory. Respiratory, bumalik ka ng cardiac. Respiratory, skeletal. Respiratory, uh, skeletal, bumalik ka ng respiratory. Diba? Ganun nung ganun yun. As you go along, nagpo-progress ko kayo. Gagawin nyo lagi yung practice. Kasi tulad nga sinasabi ko, practice makes perfect. Doon ho masasanay ang inyo. Another thing, the reason why I'm doing this system is to inspire you and to encourage you to think, to analyze, and to develop develop that habit. Because the more you read, the more na exercise yung mind you, yung brain you, and the most important thing there is nasasana yung reading comprehension you and yung analytical thinking na papraktis ho yan. Hindi ho katulad ng mga reviewer na fini-spoon feed lang kayo. No. Ang point ko lagi sa inyo, you are not a student. You are a graduate nurse. So we don't need to go in details. Uh, what I'm doing now is to teach you the right way to how to study and pass. Okay po? Uh, dito, don't forget yung mga words of wisdom na sinabi ko. Religiously, you have to have a discipline kailangan consistent, you have to attain your goal, lagi nyong ganyan, go, 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 aim high, aim high. Tsaka yung technique na sinasabi ko. Kung yung in-example ko, mali ka number two, practice test one, practice test two, practice test three, mali ka, mali ka all the way, then there's something wrong. Kailangan hanapin mo yung keyword, hanapin mo yung elimination process technique, or you can message me. Okay? Uh, yun lang ho, example, cardiac, respiratory, skeletal, and as you go along, pabalik yan, ganun ng ganun. Ulitin ko, practice makes perfect. Uh, ngayon po, ang gusto ko, for all those aspiring na or nag-dreaming to become a nurse here in, in uh, America, please do review consistently and religiously. Follow the eight-hour rule. Kailangan natin ang sacrifice. You can only sacrifice maybe four to five months. That's all I'm asking you. At uh, uwi ho ko nitong December. Uh, dyan sa Pilipinas, I will gonna celebrate Christmas holiday there. You can call me kung meron kayong tanong. Taga-Kaviti ho ako. Uh, kung sino malapit sa Kaviti, then maybe we could see each other or by group kung mag group kayo as a classmates or ano friends and we can meet okay uh, I'm doing this for free uh, wala akong problema ron uh, kung meron ako yung question lagay nyo sa comment uh, at uh, tulong sabi ko please click in thumbs up likes and subscribe para magkakaroon po tayo ng more discussions and mga infos about uh, tips on how to pass us NCLEX dito for US. Okay? And uh, mahalo. Mahalo is thank you in Hawaiian. And have a good night, you guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.